This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 103 at 33,423. Now, look at this. On the This is the left side is the daily chart. On the right is the arching over weekly. And you can see we've, we're not even 30. We're 30 minutes into the trading day. And finally, that uh, weekly chart has got an S that came in from uh, end of last week, and that means that the 914 has turned down. But look at this the SP weekly chart on Friday held uh, the green nine period over the 14, and the weekly chart went to an S a moment ago. We'll see if that lasts. I think there's some buying that should be coming in. Look, we're sitting right on the daily 200 period exponential moving average, and the SB is down just 20, it's up 58 cents now at 42.89. Here's the other thing the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle, uh, 360.50 up two, and it is, it's kind of struggling. And that weekly chart, so there's still the 90 is over the 14. That's a good sign. IWM, the Russell 2000, very weak last week. We can gain today down a dollar at 175.67. We're going to be watching gold very closely because gold <clears throat> is down 15 at uh, 18.50. It's just last week it just took right out that 200 period exponential moving average weekly support. Not very good because why? I spoke about this before. I can't, it's just an amazing thing. The um, technical indicator for me of last resort, the 9 over the 14, I said, is still stronger than the dollar. We remain uh, for subscribers still along the dollar. Here it is at 106.64, up 52 cents. And if you're looking at bonds, James Bonds, looking at bonds right now, down 18, 30 seconds at 113, 8, 30 seconds, really needs a lot of work to break to the upside. This is, ooh, it doesn't look good at all. And crude oil. Crude oil is now actually down a little bit, down 37 cents. And I said this actually looks like a D, even though it's got a C in it. And if you go to the USO, that is the United States Oil Fund, that did make a PD. Watching this closely, as I say, for, for subscribers to opening call, we're actually taking another long position today. I, th I think there's some residual strength we're going to be watching to see what happens at the close. I'll be right back with the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter. I'll be back in a moment. Thank you.